my friends. Happy Home Friday. Happy Home Friday. And I know this one is going to probably make me hungry. I'm already hungry. So it's like I'm anticipating <laughs> some tastiness. Texas Eats Part 3. Texas Eats Part 3. Yeah. Thank you very much to whoever donated for this Thank one. Thank you, friends. Somebody saw that we did the other one and we were like, where's the barbecue? Where's all like the real Texas food? Yeah. And you know, I, I was reading a lot of the comments yeah. and thank you all for reminding me that Texas is also on the Gulf Coast. Seafood. And, and I, I don't really think about it like I that. I know. You know, my mom lived in Corpus Christi, which yeah. is literally on the coast. So you think you'd remember. We don't eat seafood, so we don't really think of seafood like that. But th she does, but she wasn't around then. So... <laughs> But yeah, thank you all for, for reminding us that, you know, they do have the Gulf Coast and all that seafood, but. It was happy learning, honestly. This helps enrich us and helps us learn more, right? Absolutely. Like, I had no idea, but it's gonna be fun to see yeah, what else. Yeah, the Cajun stuff, I had, I'd never ever in a million years would have considered that Texas food. It was fun to all. learn, but I really hope this one has some barbecue. Yeah, and, some and I think things. that's one of the reasons why this was uh, donated for it. So, Thank you know, you I'm super stoked. We're going to jump right into it. But before we do. Oh. Thank you. <laughs> we're going to get our get our cans on and we're going to get ready to get some grub on. Well, watch them get the grub on. Now, mm. I've been saying. Oh, <gasps> yes. Chicken and waffles. Message. Shrimp and grits. God bless Texas. Oh yeah, this is what I'm talking about. <laughs> I remember that. That's funny. Oh, this is clips from the last one. Installment. <laughs> Installment. <laughs> Of course, my absolute favorite eating when I'm home Mama. right here in Mom's kitchen. Yeah. Look at her. <laughs> well. She's been working away. Yes. Not only is she making <laughs> Dad must be tall. I was just thinking uh, she's that. She's made all the meals for home free for today. Yeah, we're, I'm doing ham. I got to get, oh, get it in the oven. Country ham here. And then uh, macaroni and cheese, potato salad, green beans. <laughs> Deviled eggs. I want to go. I think that's all. Yeah. Didn't have to wake Daryl up for this. <laughs> no salad. No, I've, been, I've been tasting everything. Make sure it's all good. <laughs> <laughs> so far, so good. Mom's got these uh, steak fingers soaking here. What's it soaking in? Just egg and milk. Egg Yum. And, milk. and look, text Joy again. Yep. So you're going to batter it up in a mixture of what's that flour and texture? What's flour that? And Chicken Add fried steak. Anything. Please pause. Text Joy. This is new learning for me. Text is this some joy. sort of like seasoning salt? It's gotta be something. Oh, I've got to look and see what's in there. I'm all about a good spice, guys. Does it say food seasoning? It's hard to I see, gotta look but it, it looks like it says text joy food seasoning. I gotta look it up. Let's figure it out together, guys. Text Do not joy. measure anything. That, that's good. I just need to know what's that's in That's her text bag joy. right there. Don't measure anything. Just do it. That's her. I'm a Virgo, Look, so everything has to be like to the millimeter or to the half ounce, like you guys. Okay, so <laughs> text joy. What is this? So when when you're cooking, you you can be a little bit more lenient. Baking is like science, right? You have to be very precise. But I'm bummed because this label isn't showing what the actual ingredients are. No, we have got to find it out. Old West Mesquite Shake. I'm, I'm sure our friends could could let us know what, what what's all. Okay, so here's what the Google AI says is in there, right? Textually seasoning and spices contains a variety of ingredients, including salt, garlic, black pepper, other spices. Okay, like that's the okay. thing that we need to know. <laughs> right. MSG makes everything taste yeah. better. Uncle um, Roger. Paprika, um, onion powder, and some other stuff. That's so like basically. Chemical. Your normal seasoning salt, it sounds like. I want to know what's in this proprietary. What, Anyways, what's this we need other to find seasonings? This. Yeah, Mom, yeah. please send us one of these. If you guys know, yeah. what is this? Is this anything like Lowry's seasoning salt? Is it something along the lines? Bay, no, or... definitely not Old Bay. How do nah. you know? Because it, 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 no, it's not Old Bay. Oh, no, we're not even going to, we're not even going to entertain that. Right. I'll put it in here. <laughs> and I just kind of look at it. Mm, I love my chicken fried steak. I can see it, it gets all speckly. Oh, I love her so <laughs> much. I want to eat her food. Chicken fried steak is that you double dip it. Mmm. Soaking in um, 
the milk and eggs, and then I'm going to dip it in this flour. Then I'm going to dip it back in the milk and eggs. Get it crispy. This is the cream gravy. It's going to be the cream gravy. And you don't let it cook very much, so I've got to get the right consistency. All right. <laughs> cream gravy. I've never heard it called that before. This doesn't taste good. Keep going? Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, yeah. see when. I will. Look at her cooking up a stew. If it starts getting too thick, well, we'll put more milk in it. <laughs> Look at him holding his shoulder. He's, He's like, like that. Moral Look support. <laughs> <laughs> Supervision. Biscuits. Well, I'm just. With love. Burn a lot of stuff. <laughs> <laughs> just burn a lot of stuff and start over. I want to see no. Tim's dad. Morning. Is Tim's dad alive? Yep. We're going to have a lot of gravy. <laughs> okay, let's try that for a while. Laughing but serious. Yeah, it was just us and Luke, right? And my secret ingredient. What was that? Ingredient. Cayenne pepper. No, I don't have the secret ingredient. All right, it's refrigerated. A little stick of butter. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> butter. Butter. Yeah, just, oh, just, a little bit. just a couple. But we might need more. A couple of bacon grease in here. What is that, like four tablespoons? Two, three? I don't know, but I want that. Oh, that looks so I tasty. I want to bite that. In the air it's Cooking with love. Just right Yum. So I've never seen country love. fried steak in strips don't before. Well, it's probably to make it last long. Or if you have a lot of different foods so people can take little bites of each instead of like that big honking thing that they normally <laughs> give you, you know? You know, oh my gosh. I never, you get that at um, breakfast sometimes. All the time. Fried steak. That's like my go-to. I've never made it. It's one of those things where I feel like I'm too afraid to try it, but seeing mama do it makes me want to. You know what? We got to try. And it's that kind like. We got to try when it. You go you got to try it. <laughs> when you go to the grocery store, isn't it that steak that's been smashed? You know, it's got all the, what do they call that kind of steak with all the ridges in it? Uh, like chuck? I don't know. It's the one that looked like they smash it, guys. Or you can just I don't get know what it's some called. kind of chuck roast or chuck. You know, no, you get it's got to be steak, that. It's got to be you that. You pound it yourself. Yeah, I've got one right? of those things. Yeah. I you guess. got a meat tenderizer. Yeah. Oh, good. Got to make, you, you got to make some of this for me soon. What are you going to make for me? If we do Ramen. <laughs> Yum. Biscuits homemade. Don't mm. feel good. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> what is, yeah. What so what a fan knows that I'm a Star Wars fan and chance cubes are what they use in the Star Wars universe. So I have here a chance cube. A oh my word. God. Yes. That's awesome. Oh, or no. Awesome. <laughs> that is great. Is tonight's show going to be good? Let's find out. It's like the eight ball. Oh, no. No. Oh. <laughs> chances aren't That's good. That's awesome. I, did, I didn't come up with this. It's all the chance cube. Chance cube. All the rules of the universe. Okay. Okay. Make it an acronym. I'm talking that. Magnet. Adam Robbins is so confidently called for the end of Country Roads that I thought I was wrong. We're all supposed to stop, and he just kept going at the end. Rob. He even sped up. Let's do this. I never heard Rob's. Uh, mama, whatever. So I'm like, oh shit, well he hasn't done that yet. So I guess there's another round after this. And I just kept going. <laughs> <laughs> I love the text. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> it's like the Joker. That's great. What a burger. Those are really nice. Mr. Burger himself. <laughs> Mr. Burger. This is, are these for us? Yes. Yeah, this is incredible. I want this. There's Abe. I love this. Oh, this is top quality stuff. I know. 
I love this thing. So I kind of do too. I'm stuck. 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 I'm stu
open your eyes. Yeah. Oh, I opened prematurely. <laughs> Sorry. No surprise there. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Wow, that really did that. It really enhanced my experience. I think that's Tim's bestie. Yes. I'm going to send you some uh, recommendations, some food oh, please, recommendations. Please do. I'll have at least two meals. Here. And then I'm going to need you to, uh, I'm going to need you to like selfie video. Maybe we can add those to the whole thing. All right, buddy. Well, good luck. Let me know if, uh, if I can help with anything. Right now, Jeffrey, this is your job. <laughs> yeah, he picked this one. How you doing? That's so good. <laughs> Maybe I should pick this one. Oh, well. I picked the chocolate. Oh, I was thinking you did. The agreement was we're going to split it. This is so good. <laughs> mm. oh, oh, yeah, there. There. Uh -huh. Makes me think you know, of Matt. Yeah. Every time he eats. Beard after the sing and you fast. sometimes. You sometimes. And uh, it's, it's stuck ever since. You know, you used to have a pretty tight manicured beard. They're like, come on, let that thing go. Let's get a little duck dynasty up in here. <laughs> so he started letting his beard go, and then they encouraged us all to, to like just let our facial hair go and just be kind of scruffy. And Rob's mom, Shannon, was like, she goes, why didn't they make you grow your facial hair out? I said, they did. <laughs> and they did. <laughs> Why don't I eat way more things off your sauce? <laughs> yeah, they're tasty. Mm-hmm. It's so light and fluffy. <laughs> oh, <laughs> what are you gonna do that My to mom? I'm excited right now because she's a chocolate fanatic. But I don't think she would ever order it for breakfast, but she's very excited that someone else did. That's why you want to do the honors. She's so sweet. She's like, how come I don't get a bite first? Oh, that Ooh, looks yummy. tasty. That's the right amount. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You look at it, it looks really minimal, but I think any I think any more would be overbearing. Look at that. Those layers. Mm. Like the rings on a tree. How old is this croissant? <laughs> Alright, I'm ready for the savory already. <laughs> right? Yeah. Okay. Where's the barbecue? What I yeah. need to do is eat salads for the next two weeks. <laughs> yeah, I'm not gonna. After this video. So what did you say? That's amazing. That's one of the best kolaches I've ever had. Yum. And I've been missing out on that for years. I've always gotten the, you know, the strawberry cream cheese croissant. <laughs> well, <clears throat> this actually kind of concludes our <clears throat> Southeast Texas food tour. Um, and then we're gonna head up to Fort Worth. We yeah. got a show in conjunction Fort Worth. with the rodeo up there, yeah. and we're gonna Dallas. Go ahead and get a, a jump start on part one of the Dallas Fort Worth area food barbecue. Tour. That's you what down? I'm talking about. Oh no! <laughs> All right. Bring it on. Southeast makes sense, right? Because that's close to Louisiana. And... Right. I was expecting you yesterday. I know. I know. We came a day late. Sorry about okay, that. That's okay. But that's okay. I'm are. not really dressed up to be yeah. as great. Great. I'm pretty as you. What made Aww, you she loves him. open this place? Well, the thing is, I'm not the original owner. Okay. It was uh, owned by uh, my sister, husband friend, and then they sold it to my sister. We decided to buy it from her. Okay. Yeah, so and then now my daughter, she went to college to have a degree in uh, business management, and then she continued the, uh, the family. That's your daughter over there behind the camera? Yeah, the beautiful one. Yeah, she Aww. <laughs> Such a mom answer. This is Anita. Oh gosh, hi! Oh <laughs> She's single. She makes Whoa. No, I'm not! Did my mom tell you that? Yes. <laughs> She's lying. We're gonna, we're gonna cut, so we're gonna cut that out. It's definitely what I did. No, not the Okay. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Oh my gosh. <laughs> she makes sweets. I love that. I, I, I bake, I don't cook. I'm gonna use that as my, my cover photo now. <laughs> hey fellas. Is that the Darren Papa guy? Daryl. Daryl. Papa Dough. Highly recommended place. 
Now when I fly, Papa do. sometimes it rattles my cage a little bit. It gets my tummy a little upset. So I thought what better way to combat that than to quickly ingest a dozen raw oysters and wash it all down with a couple tall glasses of sweet tea. Now this he almost is looks like he could be Tim's brother. Of what I've done. Check that out. But I saved one for you, the last one. So here we go, here's to you. Here's to the Gulf Coast. No finer oysters in the land than the Gulf Coast, the Gulf Coast oyster. Here we go. Mmm. No. Mm. Slurp them on down. I wonder no. if he puts any like lemon Watch down or a little sweet tea. Horseradish. Some hot sauce. Mm. Am I getting a lot of strange looks like right now? Certainly. <laughs> all my, my friends at the bar. <laughs> anyway, stop at Papa Do in the airport. Yep. And enjoy. Thank you. All right. To be continued. I forget. No, that Wait wasn't all. Thank you all so much for Wait. watching this. And a special thanks to Ruth and Vivica for your Wait. generous support of our Home Away From Home channel. Stay tuned for more, y'all. Okay. <laughs> so, what just happened right now? So, I was, where is the food? Not a wait, pastry. It said to be continued, right? But this was the final installment. So maybe there's a part four coming, but okay. So we got pastries and we got more oysters. Oh, but mama's cooking. Chicken. Mama's cooking. Yeah, that was worth the whole video, honestly. So maybe I don't the know next what that one, was. Maybe the next one, when they go to Dallas, we're going to get like actual food <laughs> yeah i'm just gonna be grateful for what it is we do have i uh wasn't expecting that but i was happy to see mama's cooking and to learn how to do chicken fried steak it just oh, seems so daunting it's it, that was the best looking thing in like, the video really that's the only thing to talk about what are you gonna talk about pastry well, jeffrey or east too oh yeah Je jeffrey east was <laughs> definitely jeffrey worth east, talking it's about. always nice to yeah see, yeah of course see him but yeah but pastries and yeah no. yeah like i'm the mom is confused as to how this is called Texas Eats. Like, I mean, I think they're eating in Texas, so I guess literally that's what it is. But nothing that you're seeing, you think Texas. Yeah, but Maybe you know, that's the point. I don't know. You know, putting on our videography hats, I applaud them for creating content, right? Like, we've been in that same boat when you have to pump out, and more so on our travel mm -hmm. channel, I mean, but like when you have to pump out constant content. Um, as a end user now, we may be just a little bit greedy because we know all of what there is to be had. And so when you see like croissants and oysters on Texas seats, that doesn't really fit it's the like, bill. Come on. However, mama's cooking made it all worth that, it. So that sure. was great. And, yeah. and also, you know, they were in the Southeast side of Texas. So yeah. maybe that's what they eat there, you know, which is fine. I had no idea. When I think Texas eats, like you guys already know, and we've already said in the last one, None of what we've seen so far is anything like what I would expect. Tex-Mex, they did do that. I expect Tex-Mex. But other than that, man, so maybe we're waiting for part four where... Yeah. I'm just going to change my perspective, you know, like I'm just along for the ride and need to not think about this as a food video in the traditional sense, like what I would expect to see if I went on a Texas Eats documentary, for example. And um, just remember that it's just home free creating content. And that's right. going to that's going to change my perspective a little bit on these it, videos. It felt more like a like a day in the life type of it was vlog. Just a vlog. Yeah. Not necessarily based on food. No. Like it, it, it was trying to be, you know, and it, I'm like, all these things are going through my head. <laughs> As we were watching, I'm sitting here thinking, man, they could hire us to, to help do some really good videos when it comes to this food stuff. We I don't, we've I, had our fair share of those kind of food videos, and they're some of the funnest ones. Yeah. Let's start with the green. Yeah. 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 They have been, you know, I was just thinking like, I don't know that they do these anymore, right? I mean, I don't know if this is part of their rotating content or this was just oh, the thing yeah, that happened back then and they've since evolved. I mean, when you're building your fan base, when you're growing an audience, 
I applaud them for doing more things to introduce others to them as people, not just the music. And totally so agree. they may be beyond needing to do that type of thing. I don't know. Well, actually, they might to need think. to do it now because they have another new member. So yeah. now it's time to let everyone know this member. So like have Adam Bastine show us all of his tasty. Where is he from? I forget. Oh, yeah. You know, we need uh, where where Bastine's from yeah, home I video. I you don't know? remember where Adam Bastine's from, guys. Will you let us know? I don't think I yeah. ever knew. Yeah. It, uh, yeah. Actually. Oh. Yeah. So I take that back because it would be kind of cool to. Uh, yeah. Honestly, I take that whole thing back. I said, because <laughs> independent of how big home free is, it's even more exciting to see the behind the scenes stuff. So right, totally. I hope they keep it going. But yeah. maybe just succinctly wrap up a state's food into one video that highlights all of the foods instead of multiple <laughs> ones. That... Producer anyways, brain over anyways here. sorry, I just have ideas. I love it. Mm -hmm. Anyways, thank you very much for donating. Whoever you are out there, Thanks, really friend. appreciate it. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm hungry. I want some of that chicken fried steak. Yeah. For sure. You know what I mean? But we're going to get on out of here. Hopefully, you guys mm. had a happy home Friday. And um, before we get out, y'all know what's up. Ninja's favorite thing to do in the world. All right. But thank you very much. Hit friends. all those Honestly, buttons. Honestly, thank you very much. Absolutely. And we will see you guys soon, my friends. Next Friday. Peace.